<laughs> okay, I think we're going to start slowly this uh, today meeting. Uh, we'd like to thank all the people who came, especially the suburbans, for whom it's pretty difficult right now <laughs> to travel. I mean, um, any time I organize a meeting, it rains and there is a strike. So, <laughs> so watch out for the next meeting I organize. Uh, so the, the, um, the meeting will be about, as you say, um, neurogenesis, adult neurogenesis. There are many things which are really ongoing in this field. I'm not a specialist myself, that's why I really now though, has been organizing uh, this uh, program. He helped me, or I helped him, I don't know. I mean, we helped each other. And uh, 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 we're going to discuss the main issues. And um, as you know, we have a lot to understand on the function, the mechanisms, uh, how neurogenesis takes place in several places. We're not going to discuss uh, what happens in other places and the neurogenic niches. Uh, uh, we don't know whether there's neurogenesis somewhere else, in fact, and uh, very, very likely that there is not. But um, we're going to discuss uh, the uh, pathologies which are associated with uh, neurogenesis or the failure of neurogenesis and the uh, role of neurogenesis in evolution should also have been uh, uh, <coughs> discussed, but unfortunately, I mean, uh, as you will uh, see, I mean, uh, Villan cannot come, he is ill, he's uh, in fact having a little surgery today, and um, he's absent. So uh, instead of listening to Villan, uh, if you wish, I mean, we can have a small uh, discussion People call it round table, but these tables are never around. So, but uh, we can have a square table on uh, uh, neurogenesis and the future of neurogenesis for one hour, and this will give you the opportunity to discuss also with the, the audience, the students and postdocs. And uh, then we'll go for dinner. I mean, this will give you some time. By chance, it might not rain at the end of the day, so you may have a chance to have a walk in the city before we meet uh, uh, for the restaurant. At noon, uh, there's a lunch break, so uh, the, uh, indeed the, the speakers are invited, plus a few, two or three people that I would just invite personally. And uh, uh, you will have to follow uh, Francine, uh, who is, uh, she's not here, but she will come at the end of the morning, and she will take you to the, what we call Salon Bleu, okay? The Blue Saloon, okay? So uh, with this and uh, um, with this, I think uh, uh, we are a bit ahead of time, but uh, uh, this will give you some. There's a lot of flexibility. Okay, I mean, uh, uh, I will ask the speakers to take their time, discuss what they want, and if it is a bit longer than you know anticipated, I don't think it matters much. I mean, we are here to discuss between us and have as much fun as we can. Okay. So the first person who will uh, um, open this day, I mean, the person who is going to open this day is Fiona. Uh, I mean, you all know Fiona Deutsch, I think. She was at Columbia University, and she's been uh, working, I mean, um, I think you, you were with uh, Arturo at the beginning. Yeah, she was with Arturo Alvarez um, Bulia. Uh, as you know, I mean, neurogenesis, I mean, has been uh, found a long time ago by Altman, I mean, in, in the 60s, but nobody believed it until uh, Arturo came in, um, Notobom came in uh, with the birds. And, you know, I think uh, Notobom has been the guy who has really, I mean, opened the field. I think the way I see it, at least, with the new neurons. I mean, uh, <coughs> when the animals relearn, relearn to sing every year during spring. I mean, uh, and uh, Arturo was working with uh, Notobom and uh, has sort of transferred this from birds to mammals. Uh, Rusty Gage is on here. I think Rusty has played a big role in the field by showing that this also takes place in the human, which was not very popular, I mean, uh, at the time. So, so Fiona is sort of a part of this uh, history of the neurogenesis, I mean, this very noble history of neurogenesis. And I'm very pleased that she could travel from Basel to Paris, okay? It's almost longer than going from Columbia to Basel, right? So, so, so Fiona uh, uh, will tell us about uh, a dynamic duo. I don't know what that means, but uh, we'll learn soon what that means 
in the adult mammalian brain. And thank you, Fiona, for being here.